It is a given, a proven or accepted fact that in the case of Parkinson's disease, it, it, it occurs because of a lowering of adequate dopamine levels in the brain. Uh, that's pretty much an accepted fact everywhere. But why does this occur? Why does it occur? And uh, it's actually, it could be graphically shown with scans on the brain, what goes on in the brain as far as the dopamine centers being lessened. Now, there are some remedies for this. One actually is iodine, and it's actually from several different methods. It's probably working. It's a simple, simple, essential trace element. Um, there's a lot of controversy as to, you know, I think the government recommendations might be too low because some of the natural paths recommendations are much, much higher. But it is known that iodine is given in the case of uh, radiation toxicity, like exposure to radiation at a Fukushima or the Chernobyl nuclear accident, that iodine is given to people. And even during the time of the Gulf, um, uh, the, the oil spill, and during the Gulf War, and also in the Gulf of Mexico, in the oil spill at that time, in the Gulf War also, when uh, soldiers were... Um, exposed to a lot of toxic elements iodine was actually given to help detoxify the body now what actually happens with iodine it's just such a simple simple trace element back maybe a hundred years ago people used to take literally maybe almost a thousand times of what they're saying is a recommended daily requirement with no ill effect but what happens actually is there is probably a it's it's becoming known through not extremely solid evidence, but basically evidence where they did experiments with rats with um, iodine deficiency and dopamine le levels. Also data they're getting from populations where the iodine levels in the soils are lower and where they're higher and incidence of dopamine levels in Parkinson's disease. They're showing that inadequate amounts of iodine actually will lead to lower dopamine and thus a much greater tendency to have Parkinson's disease. Now actually you can get some of the older stuff around it's just a simple 10 percent potassium iodine and um, you know you don't have to get the name brands it could be something just like this Equate or whatever it doesn't have to be you know formula wise the name brands are the same as the cheaper brands but you can use the method where you can put the patch on the skin it actually gets absorbed into the body that way but what it's doing is it's also um, taking out eliminating some of the heavy metals because you know that's a major key factor also in if not just Parkinson's but also in uh, multiple sclerosis it could be from um, lead mercury or aluminum Actually, aluminum is one of the major culprits in Parkinson's disease, and that's from, it could be just from the aluminum um, cooking utensils or cooking ware that you use, or it could even be from some coatings on the cooking ware that you use over the years, or it just could be from exposure to pesticides or any of the things that we're exposed to in modern day societies. So actually, you need to do a lot, and it, it's not going to be an overnight thing, but iodine could be used like from sources like this. It could be used from kelp supplements. And the main goal is to, and I'm showing, I'm not selling any supplements. I'm just showing these as a popular supplements to get an idea of what to get. But you could take kelp pills. You can actually use um, seaweed, more um, Japanese type seaweed in your food. I know maybe there's going to be some remarks about Fukushima with that, but I don't think there's a problem with that, you know, per se. But um, the thing is, it, it contains kelp and seaweed, contains higher levels of iodine. Uh, to make sure you also use naturalized, the real salt with the 83 essential elements, minerals in it, with that, are, that is iodized, like the Himalayan salt. Now the other thing is something like this, activated charcoal. This will help not directly uh, increase the dopamine levels as iodine might. That's probably a legitimate, um, it seems to be backed up by more and more studies that dopamine 
levels can be raised by raising the iodine levels in the body. And as long as you have adequate vitamin supplies of vitamin C, vitamin D, the B complex vitamins, there should be no problems because as you raise the iodine levels in the body, um, let me let me state that you're going to be eliminating some of the heavy metal toxins. And that's probably where you want to make sure you do have enough vitamins in the body, especially like vitamin C, vitamin D3, the natural form of D3, and the B-complex vitamins, whereby the B -cox, higher dose of B-complex vitamins actually have been shown to actually repair nerve damage. Now, that's one angle, but the other side, you know, if you're looking strictly from a detox of heavy metals, activated charcoal. Now, this was actually given also during, um, from exposure to radiation. Now, you don't have to be exposed to radiation to actually have problems with, um, you know, maybe developing a problem with, you know, Parkinson's type symptoms or anything. But what I'm saying is the principle of detoxification is the same for radiation as it is for heavy metals and heavy metals are a one of the main causes of what causes Parkinson's it could be also type 2 diabetes it could be a lot of different things but a lot of times it's it's definitely linked with lower levels of dopamine and also with um, heavy metal toxicity particularly aluminum which you can get from just cooking pots and pans and things like that that can actually get into the food over a period of years. So activated charcoal can help bring out these higher levels of uh, heavy metal, toxic heavy metals such as mercury, cadmium, and aluminum, it's particularly aluminum, but all those metals can actually affect Parkinson's and even uh, multiple sclerosis. You want to make sure you put nothing in your body that you can actually has long chemical names and actually go with whole foods if possible. But the cheapest solution to do would be to take um, iodine or kelp pills or use this uh, type of first aid antiseptic as a patch on the skin which will get absorbed into the bloodstream or, or take the um, activated charcoal because what will happen after a while as you remove these uh, problems that are causing the dopamine centers not to work or shut down due to heavy metals um, what will happen is the production will come back now there's other things you can do and I'm not displaying it with all these pictures here but it's because it's not exactly the whole game um, but B, higher doses of B complex vitamins, all the B vitamins, you just buy like super B complex because I can name like B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. A whole con the whole complex, actually higher doses of it will help repair the nerve stim and stimulate the nerve sense centers in the brain. It will help. It will even help with alertness. There's another controversial thing. I just want to mention this, but it's also the magnetic pulsar. Um, they were using, I don't want to state this as a fact for humans, but they were using it on pets, on animals for stroke recovery because it can help other, it can stimulate and help other parts of the brain to re make new neuron pathways where the functionality of the brain is back to normal again because probably what happens due to toxicity is that some of these areas of the brain are actually permanently damaged and that's you know the dopamine production needs to be brought back up again and it's going to require other parts of the brain to, to relearn this function and the magnetic pulsar I want to state that's very highly controversial but it's been shown to actually work with stroke recovery it's been shown to work in some instances with um, using the negative side of the magnetic pulsar with um, using um, with with actually stroke recovery but it could probably possibly help with the dopamine productions going back up to normal again but I think your main strategy should be iodine through either um, using the 10% potassium iodine patches on the skin or taking the pills through um, kelp pills or making sure you have enough iodine in natural salt not the processed salt but the salt that has 83 trace minerals actually has iodine in there um, 
because not only there's evidence now to show that iodine not only will detoxify but it will help bring back the dopamine production levels and that's really that's really what the problem is you want those dopamine production levels up to normal and once they're up to normal the symptoms of Parkinson's should disappear so and once you get them back up to normal if it's due to heavy metatoxicity and probably having a brain function go back to normal it could be something where it's not a problem anymore so I just want to put this out here it's just a quick video on this subject but um, it's something I think a lot of people are going down too many different rabbit holes with these um, theories on Parkinson's and even MS but this is more on Parkinson's but maybe two main things possibly more the iodine through like kelp supplements and taking adequate vitamins because as you purge out these uh, tox toxins from the body uh, what's going to happen is you're going to need more vitamin C um, vitamin, vitamin B complex vitamins and vitamin D3 so you want to take a little you want to take extra beyond what the recommended daily requirement is actually in the animal world the animal, most animals produce vitamin C in their bodies at per pound far more than humans we probably had this capability back hundreds of years ago or thousands of years ago and that's probably why the humans back in the Bible showed they lived to be 700, 900 years old and all that type of stuff. It was because they had this capability. So that's a different subject, but you want to actually balance it out with some other simple things because as you detoxify the body, your body is going to come in contact with these coxins and you want to have enough of vitamin C and vitamin D3 and the B complex vitamins to deal with this and um, you know it should help greatly after a period of time and uh, stay with it but um, iodine looks to be the most important simple cheap thing you can do to combat the effects and maybe reverse Parkinson's disease